Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to The Wine Rookie. I know it's been a while, but we have a new set here and we're still tasting wine. On today's episode, we are opening up Trader Joe's Platinum Reserve label, Cabernet Sauvignon, lot 112 from Paso Robles. And uh, this is the 2021 vintage. So let's go ahead and dive into the tasting. All right, everybody, we have Trader Joe's Platinum Reserve label, Cabernet Sauvignon, 2021 vintage from Paso Robles poured out and we're gonna go ahead and take a closer look. So first, let's check out the aromas. Uh, we're gonna do this first because if you're a wine rookie here and you're not familiar with how to taste wine, most of our taste actually comes from smell. So that's what we do first. Um, we wanna smell the wine, so it gives us a better uh, ability to figure out what we're tasting. So here we go. There's a lot of oak influence on this wine, but there's still some fruit flavors coming through. I'm getting a stewed plum and black currant um, first on the nose, and then coming through is going to be these baking spices, some coffee, some burnt caramel, some vanilla, and even some pencil shavings coming through. This has a really nice nose for a Cabernet Sauvignon, and I'm really excited to taste it, so here we go. Hey, sorry to interrupt, but before we get to the actual tasting, I just wanted to let you know I've really been enjoying Cabernet Sauvignons from the Stellenbosch region in South Africa lately, and I was just wanted to know where your favorite Cabernet Sauvignon region is. Comment down below, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. All right, back to the tasting. Wow, absolutely delicious. It's a pretty medium plus bodied wine. And for 14.5% alcohol, I'm not surprised there, but there's not a lot of heat going down, which is wonderful. It's inviting for the next sip. You don't have to take any time between um, medium plus tannins on this wine that are fine grained. So they're firmly structured, but they have a nice uh, polishedness to them. They, they go down so easy and all because of that medium plus acidity, this wine is very well balanced. Absolutely delicious. Um, those rich black plum notes continue through onto the palate, as well as the black currant. The baking spices settle out a little bit more and leaving a lot more room for that burnt caramel kind of notes to come through. Incredibly oaky, but if you like that, it's quite delicious. I think this one was aged 24 months on French oak. Half new, half uh, first time used, I think, is what uh, the spec said on this wine. Really delicious. Um, for $14.99, I think that this bottle is well worth picking up. They comp it at $30, and it's made for them exclusively by the most southern winery and vineyard in Paso Robles region. So with a quick Google search, you can actually figure out who makes this bottle for them and uh, figure out if maybe this is definitely worth picking up for $14.99. Or if uh, maybe you're not into this really rich kind of oaky cab, pass on it. Otherwise, we'll see you back here for another Wine Rookie tasting. Hit that like and subscribe button. Cheers.